Hi, this is Steven Rothberg with College Recruiter. At College Recruiter, we believe that every student and recent graduate deserves a great career. I'm joined here today by Hope White. Um, she is one of our content expert panelists, and she is an expert in federal government hiring. Um, we were recently talking about the differences between applying for a job and getting hired in corporate America versus the federal government. And uh, to say that she knows a little bit more than I do is uh, quite an understatement. Uh, so she kindly agreed to uh, join us to dispel some of the myths in federal hiring. Um, Hope has worked uh, for the CDC, the US Department of Transportation, US Secret Service, Veterans Health Administration, um, and her company, Hopeful Speaking and Consulting, um, helps people uh, prepare for and uh, navigate the federal hiring system. So if anything that she says here um, uh, sounds good, makes you sort of feel like, hey, this is somebody who can help me, um, then she'll share a little bit later how to get into, con how to get into contact with her. Um, Hope, um, question for you. Um, if you're a student or a recent grad um, from college, university, what's the best way to get into the federal government employment? The best way, hands down, uh, to enter the federal government would be as a Pathways Program student. Mm. So if you go to usajobs.gov and you scroll down and look here for the little graduate cap and click on that, you will see that this is the Pathways Program and it explains the qualifications. Oh, I forgot to share, sorry. No problem. <laughs> I get excited. So- You get excited about the Pathways <laughs> Program. Is that, now that's special. <laughs> so no, I just, I, in, in, all, in all seriousness, and I just tease you, uh, the federal government agencies that, that we work with that, that advertise their jobs with us or just people I know in the federal government, this is, Absolutely. I'm really glad you're talking about this because this is something that most students I don't think know anything about. And it is a great on ramp. So um, fire away. So uh, once you get to the usajobs.gov website and you scroll down, you'll see the hiring paths. This is the paths into the federal government. Mm. And so once you click on students and recent graduates, it tells you some information about the program. And basically this covers high school students, colleges, trade schools, or other qualifying educational institutions. So that would be, um, well, college is obvious, high school is obvious, a trade school, that's where you're going back to school for any kind of certification. Um, and then, qualifying education institution is pretty much the same thing. It is where they have set up an education or training program that doesn't fall under a college, but obviously you're getting some kind of certification and training mm. or job training specific to an area. You'll see this around the country with the workforce programs where they have contracts with organizations that they partner with to basically train uh, people who are unemployed in different areas to get certifications. Mm. And so that if you're in those programs, you're considered to be a student. And if you're a student, then you may qualify for the internship program. And so just by going here and looking, um, you click here, there's more information about it. The other part of the Pathways program is going to be the recent grad program. So if you graduated from any of those things that I mentioned before, within the last two years, then you're considered a recent grad and you qualify for this program for the most part. Hmm. If you're a veteran, you actually get six years. Or if you're in the military, you get six years. And that's primarily because we move around a lot. <laughs> and so then, you know, with starts and stops with programs. And so then they give us six years to, to actually finish. And once you go through the process of reading about these programs, which is what I encourage everyone to do, um, research is important whenever you're looking for a job, whether it's corporate America, the federal government, if you're looking for fellowship programs, internships, you have to do your research. And the biggest part of that research is surrounded around what you want to do. And so if you go scroll down and what do you need? You always need your transcripts, of course. Um, if you go down here, they have some other things that may help you. They have a list of federal occupations according to the college major. To give you an idea of if you have an accounting degree, then these are some of the jobs that you should look at. Hmm. 
because you would probably qualify for these jobs. And so this is a nice tool to use. Another one would be, um, they have a list of, you know, all of the agencies, all of them. So once you start to narrow down the agencies you wanna work with, which um, a lot of times it just depends on where you're located. What's mm -hmm. in your vicinity? What's 20 to 30 miles away from your home? Then those are the only ones you really have to, to look at. Um, there are virtual jobs in the federal government, but not a lot. And notice um, people are talking about that now where we're all working from home, but most of us are not working virtually in terms of we have a plan that that's all we do is work from home. Right. Once things change, we'll be back in that office. Now sure. there is something called telework where you're allowed to work from home a certain amount of days a week that you coordinate that with your supervisor. But for most part, we are not working virtually. So it's not realistic to say, well, I'll just work from home and I'll just look for every, in every agency because every agency doesn't have every job and every agency is not where you are. Even DC, because if you're in DC, the headquarters for CDC is here in Atlanta. Yeah, so. and, and I think it was on one, maybe two pages back, there's a, what's it, um, the virtual federal, uh, it's run by the State Department. Um, okay. mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, it's under students and recent grads. It's here. And Wait a minute. I went too far right here. Right there. Um, I think there, Virtual Student Federal Service. Um, I, I always kind of forget, and they changed their name at one point. We did a video um, with several people from um, VSFS, mm -hmm. say that 10 times fast. Um, and, and that's a really interesting program. So especially in, in a year with COVID, or if you um, are in an area where there really is a a lack of very many federal agencies or jobs, this is a really good option. So the difference between this program and the Pathways program mm -hmm. is that the Pathways program is part of the Institute's plan to implement succession planning. Mm -hmm. So with Pathways, the position is not just budgeted for the internship. The idea is that Maybe we have five interns, interns who are here. The goal is really to keep those people, mm -hmm. keep them there in the agency. Whereas the regular internships and fellowship programs you usually have to compete for a position once you leave. But with Pathways, they can easily turn you, convert you right into a federal employee. So that's the difference between those. That's why this is the number one program. If you can get in through this way, Fabulous. I've heard it described as an as like an on ramp onto the freeway. That 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 yeah. If if, if you are looking to work for the federal government in any of the hundreds of agencies, and I don't know, you know it's better than I do. Probably thousands of different kind of job titles. Then this is sort of the, the premier um, way way in. Yes, if you're a student or you recently graduated, this is the route to go. Now, there's other hiring authorities, and the more hiring authorities that you qualify for, that's just more ways into the federal government, so that works for you. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what people need to figure out. What are my hiring paths into the federal government? Right. So this covers some of them. It doesn't cover all of them, but it's enough to get you started. Yeah. So Hope, if... Um... If students who are recent grads who are listening to this, they want to learn more about some of these programs, including Pathways, um, that's something that you can help them with um, through your hopeful speaking and consulting practice. Um, how, how should they contact you? Um, how can they learn more? They should contact me through LinkedIn. So I am hopeful speaking. So if you just type in hopeful speaking, I'll come up but I'm at linkedin.com slash in slash hopeful speaking. And you'll see right here, I always feature a few things. Um, this is um, my schedule for my free classes. So every Sunday I have classes at noon, Eastern wow. Standard Time. And so anyone can join those classes. Um, as we get closer into the summer, that is when I start with some of the student classes. Um, so one of the things that I do is I work with colleges and universities, usually some career person in the college. Um, I'm working right now with the dean for a college in New York, where this is our second time where I'll be providing um, just free training for her students. 
So that's two hours of me talking about their resume, um, keeping up and understanding the announcements and answering as many questions as I can, because it's really hard to find someone who can just answer your questions for you. Yeah. And, and, and they're, and it's really important to, 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 to be prepared and to be methodical and to, and when, when you're applying for a typical corporate job, find a job posting, fire off your resume, you'll get a phone call back if, if they think you might be qualified and then they'll interview you and flesh you out. Um, and as we discussed in, in one of our other inter, um, uh, video interviews, um, just um, that's just not the case. So um, are these um, free webinars, is that, uh, is that by Zoom or how do you do that? It's all through Zoom. Awesome. So you oh, really, can go here. So really they can be anywhere. They're, they're not gonna be like showing up on your doorstep and knocking at Sunday at noon, huh? No, just my neighbor does that. <laughs> <laughs> Which she has done that to come sit next to me like, okay. Well, but, but yeah, I love to give the free classes because it, m most people will not have access to a person like me to actually ask questions. Yeah. And then I don't just ask, answer the question. I show you on USA Jobs or the OPM website where everything is, because I'm all about the source of the information. Um, if I'm answering the question, I usually can remember where I got it from. Yeah. So I will take you there. It's not that Hope said it. Well, some, <laughs> some, some people have passion and a lack of knowledge. Some people have knowledge and a lack of passion. You seem to have both. Um, Hope, well. thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, so students, recent grads, that's where you should be going. Thank you, Thank Hope. Thank you. Thank you.